please subscribe, like and share this content. It means a lot to us. Thank you in advance. Cornell Law School. UCC. Article 9. Secure Transactions. Part 3. Perfection and Priority. Sub Part 1. Law Governing Perfection and Priority. Paragraph 9 301. Law Governing Perfection and Priority of Security Interests except as otherwise provided in sections 9303 through 9306 the following rules determine the law governing perfection the effect of perfection or non-perfection and the priority of a security interest in collateral one except as otherwise provided in this section while a debtor is located in the jurisdiction the local law of that jurisdiction governs perfection the effect of perfection or non-perfection and the priority of a security interest in collateral. 2. While collateral is located in the jurisdiction, the local law of that jurisdiction governs perfection, the effect of perfection or non-perfection, and the priority of a possessory security interest in that collateral. 3. Except as otherwise provided in paragraph 4, while negotiable documents, goods, instruments, money, or tangible chattel paper is located in the jurisdiction, the local law of that jurisdiction governs a perfection of a security interest in the goods by filing a fixture filing, b perfection of a security interest in timber to be cut, and c the effect of perfection or non-perfection and the priority of a non-possessory security interest in the collateral. 4. The local law of the jurisdiction in which the wellhead or mine head is located governs perfection, the effect of perfection or non-perfection, and the priority of a security interest in as extracted collateral. Paragraph 9 302. Law governing perfection and priority of agricultural liens. While farm products are located in a jurisdiction, the local law of that jurisdiction governs perfection, the effect of perfection or non-perfection, and the priority of an agricultural lien on the farm products. Paragraph 9 303. Law governing perfection and priority of security interests in goods covered by a certificate of title. A. Applicability of section. This section applies to goods covered by a certificate of title, even if there is no other relationship between the jurisdiction under whose certificate of title the goods are covered in the goods or the debtor. B. When goods covered by certificate of title. Goods become covered by a certificate of title when a valid application for the certificate of title and the applicable fee are delivered to the appropriate authority. Goods cease to be covered by a certificate of title at the earlier of the time the certificate of title ceases to be effective under the law of the issuing jurisdiction or the time the goods become covered subsequently by a certificate of title issued by another jurisdiction. C. Applicable Law the local law of the jurisdiction under whose certificate of title the goods are covered governs perfection, the effect of perfection or non-perfection, and the priority of a security interest in goods covered by a certificate of title from the time the goods become covered by the certificate of title until the goods cease to be covered by the certificate of title. Paragraph 9 304. Law governing perfection and priority of security interests in deposit accounts. A. Law of Bank's Jurisdiction Governs The local law of a bank's jurisdiction governs perfection, the effect of perfection or non-perfection, and the priority of a security interest in a deposit account maintained with that bank. B. Bank's Jurisdiction The following rules determine a bank's jurisdiction for purposes of this part. 1. If an agreement between the bank and the debtor governing the deposit account expressly provides that a particular jurisdiction is the bank's jurisdiction for purposes of this part, this article, or the Uniform Commercial Code, that jurisdiction is the bank's jurisdiction. 2. If paragraph 1 does not apply and an agreement between the bank and its customer governing the deposit account expressly provides that the agreement is governed by the law of a particular jurisdiction, that jurisdiction is the bank's jurisdiction. 3. If neither paragraph 1 nor paragraph 2 applies and an agreement between the bank and its customer governing the deposit account expressly provides that the deposit account is maintained at an office in a particular jurisdiction, that jurisdiction is the bank's jurisdiction. 4. If none of the preceding paragraphs applies, 
The bank's jurisdiction is the jurisdiction in which the office identified in an account statement as the office serving the customer's account is located. 5. If none of the preceding paragraphs applies, the bank's jurisdiction is the jurisdiction in which the chief executive office of the bank is located. Paragraph 9 305. Law governing perfection and priority of security interests in investment property. A. Governing law. General rules. Except as otherwise provided in subsection C. The following rules apply. 1. While a security certificate is located in a jurisdiction, the local law of that jurisdiction governs perfection, the effect of perfection or non-perfection and the priority of a security interest in the certificated security represented thereby. 2. The local law of the issuer's jurisdiction as specified in section 8110d governs perfection, the effect of perfection or non-perfection, and the priority of a security interest in an uncertificated security. 3. The local law of the securities intermediaries jurisdiction as specified in section 8110e governs perfection, the effect of perfection or non-perfection, and the priority of a security interest in a security entitlement or securities account. 4. The local law of the commodity intermediaries jurisdiction governs perfection, the effect of perfection or non-perfection, and the priority of a security interest in a commodity contract or commodity account b commodity intermediaries jurisdiction the following rules determine a commodity intermediaries jurisdiction for purposes of this part one if an agreement between the commodity intermediary and commodity customer governing the commodity account expressly provides that a particular jurisdiction is the commodity intermediaries jurisdiction for purposes of this part this article or the uniform commercial code that jurisdiction is the commodity intermediaries jurisdiction. 2. If paragraph 1 does not apply and an agreement between the commodity intermediary and commodity customer governing the commodity account expressly provides that the agreement is governed by the law of a particular jurisdiction, that jurisdiction is the commodity intermediaries jurisdiction. 3. If neither paragraph 1 nor paragraph 2 applies and an agreement between the commodity intermediary and commodity customer governing the commodity account expressly provides that the commodity account is maintained at an office in a particular jurisdiction, that jurisdiction is the commodity intermediary's jurisdiction. 4. If none of the preceding paragraphs applies, the commodity intermediary's jurisdiction is the jurisdiction in which the office identified in an account statement as the office serving the commodity customer's account is located. 5. If none of the preceding paragraphs applies, the commodity intermediary's jurisdiction is the jurisdiction in which the chief executive office of the commodity intermediary is located. C. When perfection governed by law of jurisdiction where debtor located. The local law of the jurisdiction in which the debtor is located governs 1. Perfection of a security interest in investment property by filing 2. Automatic perfection of a security interest in investment property created by a broker or securities intermediary and 3. Automatic perfection of a security interest in a commodity contract or commodity account created by a commodity intermediary. Paragraph 9 306. Law governing perfection and priority of security interests and letter OF credit rights. A. Governing law. Issuers or nominated persons jurisdiction. Subject to subsection C. The local law of the issuer's jurisdiction or a nominated person's jurisdiction governs perfection, the effect of perfection or non-perfection and the priority of a security interest in a letter of credit right if the issuer's jurisdiction or nominated person's jurisdiction is a state. b. Issuer's or nominated person's jurisdiction. For purposes of this part, an issuer's jurisdiction or nominated person's jurisdiction is the jurisdiction whose law governs the liability of the issuer or nominated person with respect to the letter of credit right as provided in section 5116. c. When section not applicable. The section does not apply to a security interest that is perfected only under section 9308 d. Paragraph 9307. Location of debtor. A. Place of business. In this section, place of business means a place where a debtor conducts his affairs. B. Debtor's location. 
general rules. Except as otherwise provided in this section, the following rules determine the debtor's location. 1. A debtor whose an individual is located at the individual's principal residence. 2. A debtor that is an organization that has only one place of business is located at its place of business. 3. A debtor that is an organization and has more than one place of business is located at its chief executive office. C. Limitation of applicability of subsection B. Subsection B applies only if a debtor's residence, place of business, or chief executive office, as applicable, is located in a jurisdiction whose law generally requires information concerning the existence of a non-possessory security interest to be made generally available in a filing, recording, or registration system as a condition or result of the security interest obtaining priority over the rights of a lien creditor with respect to the collateral. If subsection B does not apply, the debtor is located in the District of Columbia. D. Continuation of location, cessation of existence, etc. A person that ceases to exist, have a residence, or have a place of business continues to be located in the jurisdiction specified by subsections B and C. E. Location of registered organization organized under state law. A registered organization that is organized under the law of a state is located in that state. F. Location of registered organization organized under federal law, bank branches and agencies. Except as otherwise provided in subsection I. A registered organization that is organized under the law of the United States and a branch or agency of a bank that is not organized under the law of the United States or a state are located. 1. In the state that the law of the United States designates, if the law designates a state of location. 2. In the state that the registered organization, branch, or agency designates, if the law of the United States authorizes the registered organization, branch, or agency to designate its state of location, including by designating its main office, home office, or other comparable office. Or 3. In the District of Columbia, if neither paragraph 1 nor paragraph 2 applies. G. Continuation of location. Change in status of registered organization. A registered organization continues to be located in the jurisdiction specified by subsection E or F notwithstanding 1. The suspension, revocation, forfeiture, or lapse of the registered organization's status as such in its jurisdiction of organization or 2. The dissolution, winding up, or cancellation of the existence of the registered organization. H. Location of United States. The United States is located in the District of Columbia. I. Location of foreign bank branch or agency if licensed in only one state. A branch or agency of a bank that is not organized under the law of the United States or a state is located in the state in which the branch or agency is licensed, if all branches and agencies of the bank are licensed in only one state. J. Location of foreign air carrier. A foreign air carrier under the Federal Aviation Act of 1958, as amended, is located at the designated office of the agent upon which service of process may be made on behalf of the carrier. K. Section applies only to this part. The section applies only for purposes of this part. Paragraph 9308. When security interest or agricultural lien is perfected, continuity of perfection. A. Perfection of security interest. Except as otherwise provided in this section, in section 9309, a security interest is perfected if it has attached and all of the applicable requirements for perfection in sections 9310 through 9316 have been satisfied. A security interest is perfected when it attaches if the applicable requirements are satisfied before the security interest attaches. B. Perfection of agricultural lien. An agricultural lien is perfected if it has become effective and all of the applicable requirements for perfection in section 9310 have been satisfied. An agricultural lien is perfected when it becomes effective if the applicable requirements are satisfied before the agricultural lien becomes effective. C. Continuous perfection. 
perfection by different methods. A security interest or agricultural lien is perfected continuously if it is originally perfected by one method under this article and is later perfected by another method under this article, without an intermediate period when it was unperfected. D. Supporting Obligation Perfection of a security interest in collateral also perfects a security interest in a supporting obligation for the collateral. E. Lien securing right to payment. Perfection of a security interest in a right to payment or performance also perfects a security interest in a security interest, mortgage, or other lien on personal or real property in securing the right. F. Security entitlement carried in securities account. Perfection of a security interest in a securities account also perfects a security interest in the security entitlements carried in the securities account. G. Commodity contract carried in commodity account. Perfection of a security interest in a commodity account also perfects a security interest in the commodity contracts carried in the commodity account.